Welcome back. You may not think about it very often, but backing up nearly everything we do in raising cattle and producing beef is sound science and research. That research helps improve cattle genetics, protect animal health, and ensure the safety and quality of our beef products. Joining us now to provide an update on beef research is Dr. Mandy Carr Johnson, the Senior Executive Director of Science and Product Solutions at NCBA. Mandy, thanks for coming to the show. Thank you. So give us just a broad overview on some of the areas that NCBA focuses on as it relates to beef research. Sure, so as a contractor to the beef checkoff, NCBA implements several research programs, pre-harvest beef safety, product quality, human nutrition, sustainability, and then also areas like our culinary and product development programs. You know, let's talk about beef safety for just a minute. I know the focus has traditionally been around E. coli and salmonella, but that focus is changing a little bit, isn't it? It is. So the, over time, the program has transitioned to other topics of interest from the beef industry. And right now, the heavy focus is on antimicrobial resistance understanding. So the program really has four projects in the field right now because antimicrobial resistance is a concern globally, not only from an animal health perspective, but from a human health perspective. So we want to make sure that the beef industry has its own research to better understand how we use antibiotics today in beef cattle production and any potential impact that might have on forming resistant bacteria that could cause a human health challenge. So we're excited about those projects to give us evidence to engage in conversations about antibiotics globally. There's a lot in the media about that for sure. There is. You know, we talked a lot for many years about tenderness being a key element of product quality. Now you've turned your focus to a little more complex topic, right? We have. As tenderness has leveled off and seen considerable improvement, we're now able to focus on some other topics that really impact a consumer's eating experience. And a really complex one is flavor. And it's the one we know the least about. So we're able to really focus on the characteristics of flavor that make beef what makes consumers enjoy it um, hopefully every day. Mm -hmm. So we've done what is called a lexicon or a library of terms that really describe all the different flavors from, you know, is it buttery? Is it something that has a strong beefy flavor or something a little bit more off-putting that sometimes can be a challenge like uh, grassy or metallic? And then we, how do we have things like aging that may impact those flavors or cooking style that could really enhance beef flavor uh, for consumers today? We'll be describing beef like a fine wine before long. Exactly. <laughs> That's where the idea came from. That's outstanding. And, and let's talk protein for a minute. Uh, you can't hardly pick up any kind of diet magazine without uh, seeing the word protein in it. What is beef nutrition research doing to capitalize on that trend? So protein is one of the areas in which consumers tell us today is the one that they want more of. So how does beef capitalize on that? About a decade ago, uh, the research program bought, brought together the top protein scientists in the world and looked at how do we re-energize the efforts around protein. So today we're seeing all those uh, efforts pay off with more literature, more publications about protein in the diet and specifically beef's protein in the diet. And we're able to capitalize on that research that the checkoff is funded and elevate things like the 30-day protein challenge. And just this week, the research program team has brought together all the leading protein researchers in the United States to see how do we take that into the next decade to make sure that beef is um, at the center of the plate uh, for consumers. Absolutely. And let's talk sustainability for a minute. It's a, a much younger topic as it relates to research, but yeah. you all have made some good progress there, haven't you? We have. The program really um, hit the ground running and did what is called a life cycle assessment, and it's the most comprehensive assessment of any food product to date. So that has been a huge success, and we've been able to leverage that. But one of the uh, recent focus areas has been about that's a really complex topic, and how do you break it down a little bit? So we focused on developing content that we call tough questions and answers. And it breaks down things like how much water does it take to produce beef? If you removed beef from the diet, could you impact greenhouse gas? Or other topics that often come up, but questions of consumers or from the retail or food service, and how do we answer those with science, but in a way that's a little easier to understand? You know, you mentioned one other area that I've had an opportunity to work with uh, your team on, and that's the culinary and product evaluation area, particularly like evaluating products that they create. Tell us your focus in that area over the next year. 
So we all know that beef is what's for dinner, mm -hmm. but how do we make beef for breakfast mm -hmm. or lunch or for snacks? Mm -hmm. And how do we keep beef on trend with the new flavors and styles of cooking that are available today to consumers? So the culinary team really works to make sure that beef can fit into all those trends of today. Uh, so consumers want to add that into their weekly meal planning. From a product development standpoint, the real focus is on supermarket food service. That's the area of the retail store where you can go in and you can pick up something that is prepared and then either sit down right there and eat it or take it home, take it back to the office and have a fully cooked meal, but one that is a little bit uh, nicer than maybe what our options have been in the past. We know that 70% of consumers today say they want more options in this area of the retail store which is actually monopolized by another protein. Mm -hmm. So look forward to uh, new beef items in supermarket food service this year. We will. Well, it sounds like you've got a full plate when it comes to beef research. Thanks so much for all you do. You're very welcome. Thank you. Now, if you'd like more information on these and other Checkoff-funded beef research priorities, you can visit the website. That's beefresearch.org.